Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at all the new critters now available around the New Horizons Island. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are about a week into the brand new month of June and not only are we seeing a bunch of new events and activities, but a whole bunch of new critters have arrived on the island as well. With June kickstarting the all new summer season in the Northern Hemisphere and the winter season in the Southern Hemisphere, we're seeing a larger shift in critters than a typical month. So today we'll go over all the bugs and fish that are appearing for the first time since launch across both hemispheres, where to find them and at what times of the day they're most commonly found. In total, there are six new bugs that players in the Northern Hemisphere can run into. These include the mosquito, the emperor butterfly, the firefly, the drone beetle, the rainbow stag, and finally the goliath beetle. The first three can be found flying around our islands and are most commonly seen during the evening until the following day, with the emperor butterfly powering through until around 8am. The last three can be found on trees all over our islands, with the exception of the goliath beetle, which spawns on coconut trees. The drone beetle is out and about all day, whereas the others are most commonly seen during the evening and throughout the night until the following day. So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and looking out for some of the latest bugs, you might have to play in the evening more often to ensure you come across these critters. Players in the Southern Hemisphere have it a little bit easier this month, which makes sense given it's now pretty much winter over there, as there's only a total of three new bugs to catch. These include the Emperor Butterfly, just like the Northern Hemisphere, the Raja Brooks Birdwing Butterfly, and finally the Dung Beetle. Of course, the Emperor and Raja Brooks Butterflies will be randomly flying around our islands. However, unlike the Emperor, the Raja Brooks Birdwing Butterfly is most commonly found during the day. The Dung Beetle, on the other hand, can be spotted all day on the ground, most likely pushing snowballs around, which is quite adorable. And that's pretty much it for the bug side of things. Moving on to fish that have now arrived in our waters, there is a total of 14 new fish that can be caught around the New Horizons Island in the Northern Hemisphere. To make it a bit easier to follow, we'll break these down by location. So new fish found in ponds, assuming you haven't terraformed them all away, include the giant snakehead and the gar. Both these fish can only be found in ponds with the giant snakehead lurking during the day and the gar during the early evening and throughout the night. The new river fish found in the Northern Hemisphere include the tilapia, the dorado and the piranha, the arowana, the aropima and finally the saddled bisher. I'm so sorry if I messed up any of those names, I know I always say at least one wrong. Anyway, the first three fish can be found at scattered times throughout the day with the tilapia swimming around all day. However, the piranha can be found most commonly during the day as well as during the night, taking a break in the early evening and the early morning. The last three river fish can be found pretty much from the early evening through to the following day. And finally, the new sea fish joining the Northern Hemisphere this month include the ribbon eel, the whale shark, the sucker fish, the saw shark, the hammerhead shark, and finally, the great white shark. As you probably already guessed by now, it is of course shark season for us here in the Northern Hemispheres, which is really awesome. All of these fish, with the exception of the ribbon eel, can easily be spotted as their fins will be sticking out of the water. The first three sea fish shown here can be found all day. However, the last three sharks can only be encountered during the early evening and throughout the night. So if you're hunting for sharks but haven't seen any of the larger ones yet, make sure you do a spot of sea fishing during the evening. And that pretty much wraps up the new fish for the Northern Hemisphere. Players in the Southern Hemispheres have it slightly easier once again because there's only five new fish to catch and they're pretty much the exact same fish that just left the Northern Hemisphere. The new river fish include the pond smelt, despite its name, and the string fish. The pond smelt can be found all day, so you shouldn't have any problems finding one. However, the string fish is only encountered in the river, but at cliff tops, so most commonly at the tops of waterfalls, but during the early evening and throughout the night. So if you're struggling to find a string fish, make a few extra waterfalls just to increase your chances. And finally, the new sea fish joining the southern hemispheres this month include the sea butterfly, the squid and the massive oarfish. All three of these sea fish can be found all day in any parts of the sea, however the oarfish is a lot rarer than all the others. 
And there we have it. That's a whopping 28 new critters joining the New Horizons Island this month during the season changes, with 20 of them located in the Northern Hemisphere and the remaining eight critters located in the Southern Hemisphere. Of course, there's no real restrictions because as usual, you can get around this by either visiting a friend in the opposite hemisphere if you want to catch something else, or of course, time traveling if you really want to. It's also worth mentioning that generally speaking, the larger fish seem to be the rarer fish. However, some of these, especially the fin fish, can be encountered more often if it's raining. So if you find yourself with a rainy day, I recommend spending as much time as you can fishing. Some of these sharks are worth up to 12 or 13,000 bells each, even more if you find CJ walking around your island. So it's a super easy way to make a few extra bells. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members, you guys absolutely rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment shark. Just let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include which fish or bug is your favorite and whether or not you've already caught it. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.